Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe, okay? So let's see spirit guys of the night and says this to the masters when you turn on light. What do you have for Aquarius today for my collective? What do they need to know at this time? Oh my god, happy fall, everybody. I'm so good. It's fall. Like, oh my god, I love fall so much. Like, I can't wait to layer up. You okay? Style the profile with my coat and Uggs and scrunchy socks. Let's see what's going on for my collective. Okay, we have the Four of Pentacles. The Page of Cups and the Two of Cups. Okay. <clears throat> I feel like it's a karmic energy here that's holding on to you. Of course it's a karmic. Karmic, they don't know how to let go. I also feel like it's a karmic here that's trying to come back and I apologize to you or that's what they want to do or somebody here feels guilty and it's like what they did to you keep playing in their head and it's like they're being pushed to communicate with you I guess but I feel like you don't want to hear nothing from this person you want a whole new connection with the two of cups here and somebody here I feel like that's why somebody here it's feeling bad because they see that you are with somebody here that's shooting you amazing, okay? It's healthy, you both are aligned with each other, it's peaceful, you both bring joy into each other's lives, okay? It's not no drama, no toxicity, okay? No competition going on. Something here is genuine and it's gonna last for a lifetime. And somebody here either thought that you know, you was going to come back to them because you could have been on and off with this karmic. But this karmic, they didn't know, like, this time you leaving them or them leaving you, however it went, that, yeah, it's the pentacles. <laughs> you went towards a new beginning. Now somebody has the nine of swords here, they want to come in with some type of fast communication here. And I feel like, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's nothing to talk about. It's over with, it's done. Yeah, it's like somebody here, heart is in their ass. Like their heart dropped here. Once they see you in a new connection. Or you could have told this person that you was, you know, dealing with somebody new and they, you know, needed to leave you alone. You set boundaries with this person. And then they want to come back and like apologize and, you know, plead their case. And they're just like, you know, it's, 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 it's done. Yeah, three of wands. It's like somebody here is delusional. Like they feel like they're the best person for you. I'm a magician. <laughs> With some of this person, they could be trying to do magic here to bring you back to them. But I feel like that shit not gonna work. That shit gonna backfire on their ass. That shit not gonna touch you or the person that you're with. Somebody here is waiting to see whatever they're calling you up here, is it gonna like work in their favor and it's not. They're gonna be waiting forever. Four of Cups, yeah, this person they're getting rejected. You don't want nothing to do with them, period. Somebody needs to get this to their fucking head. And when I give the magician the thing, I feel like somebody here is trying to manipulate the situation here. Either through their words or something. I wanted to like, did you have a conversation with this person? Because I feel like they're dying to talk to you. I feel like you probably did have a conversation with this person, but they didn't say everything they need to say. Mm, who fault is that? 
the fuck? What else? Six of Cups. See, yeah, somebody wants to reconcile with you. They keep thinking about the memories that y'all have with each other. Like, somebody here is obsessed. They're possessive. And I feel like this person is jealous. I don't know if this person is going to raid around to see if y'all going to break up with each other. The wanderer. Yeah, they're thinking about you 24-7. Like, it's not a, a day that go about this person don't think about you. Nine of Wands. I feel like this karmic here that you was dealing with, they could have reconciled with somebody here from their past. Because I feel like this person, this karmic, they keep in touch with their exes for some reason. I don't know why. So they could have went back to this situation here. But it's like when they was with this person, they were still thinking about you. I guess whoever that they went back to, not doing a good job at keeping this person with them. Because... This person is just so focused on what you got going on, what you're doing. Like, and I feel like it's somebody that they could have went back to that's trying to, like, get them to, like, um, reminisce about the good times that they have with this person. But this person is too busy thinking about the memories that y'all have with each other. I don't know if when this person has sex with this other person, they think about you. Six of Wands. That's right, Nine of Wands. Six of Swords. It's like this person goes back and forth. Like one minute they love you, they miss you. Next minute they hate you, they want revenge. Like this person, they are fucking bipolar. That's what I don't want nothing to do with their ass. I feel like this person has a lot of mood swings. Yeah, I'm getting like this person. They know why you moved on. But then again, it's like they try to act dumb as to why you moved on. Like they try to play the victim, but they know why you moved on. Deep down inside. This person, they can lie to themselves or whoever else, but they know the truth. This person was controlling. They insecure. They're afraid of change. Somebody here don't know how to let go of addictions and shit, like, you know? And I feel like, you know, you was willing to change, you know? You was realizing here that this person was holding you back. This is not the person that you're, you're supposed to be with, period, point blank. You're going towards your fucking emperor, period. Okay? Somebody that's on your fucking level. Six of Wands here, I feel like you're going to be victorious in this situation. Successful. Okay? I feel like you took your power back. Five of Swords. And of course, this person, they're talking shit about you. I feel like this person sound like this person thinks they're better. Bitch, I am. <laughs> and he is. Or they're trying to get people to like go against you, to fight you and shit like that. Start drama. Like, and all this shit gonna backfire on this person. This person thinking they're doing something here. By getting these dumbass bitches, whoever, on their team to go against you. Because you don't want to be with their ass. But these people gonna end up going against them. And they're gonna be looking dumb in the end. Lonely as fuck. What else? I'm seeing the six of wands say you could get a lot of attention as well. Somebody here wants to be you. They want the attention you you get. And I feel like you naturally get attention. This person they gotta do too much to get attention. This is probably why this person envy you so much. Because they wanna be you. They wish they had the courage. They wish they was they could be unique, be themselves. This person they're a fucking follower. 
they want to be a leader so fucking bad. And they care about what people think. And I feel like you don't give a fuck about what nobody think about you. You're secure within yourself. Yeah, pay the soil. This person they watch you 24 fucking 7. If you have social media, they watch you. If you have a YouTube channel, they watch you. Yeah, and they're seeing that you are blessed. You have good karma. Everything is going good for you. You're happy. You're genuinely happy. It's not a facade that you're putting up to the public. You could be changing people's lives. But what you do for work. Well, it's like it's people that look at you and you make them, you know, want to change or you make them like want to take better care of themselves. There's a lot of people that you inspire that you don't even know that you inspire. Not source. Yeah, I feel like you know what you need to know about this person. And somebody here are just trying to come in and try to manipulate you. You already know this person is a fucking liar. They are shape shifter. They are narcissists. Okay. They're all the bad shit that you can think of, literally. And it just like. You know, it's just somebody who's just trying to keep putting their case, like trying to prove a point or something like that. And it's just like you don't give no fucks at all. This person needs to go fuck off, like for real. Somebody here feels defeated. And that's what your dumb ass get. Fuck are you doing in the first place? You look stupid as fuck. And whoever else you got with you look dumb as fuck. And it's like, y'all know y'all look dumb as fuck, too. And you, the one that look <laughs> good as fuck. Smart as fuck, because you are. Definitely how you went about this situation. Somebody is receiving bad karma. Nothing is going in their fucking favor. They have bad luck. Is there a bad fucking person? What? I don't know why people be thinking they not going to get karma for what the fuck they do. Like, they just think they're just supposed to go on in life and everything's supposed to be peaches and cream, bitch, you know. And if something do happen good for this person, it ain't going to stay like that. <laughs> it's not going to stay like that. Pray for another swords, because it's coming out of here. Pray for another swords. It's like this person, they're not stopping until they feel like they wanted something. This motherfucking gonna die. Keep trying to fuck with you. Two of Wands. Yeah. Like. <laughs> what the fuck? Queen of Wands. It could be a feminine energy here that's trying to talk to you. Somebody here is mad. They're furious. They want to fight. Because. This person that they want to still focused on you, this karmic that you don't want nothing to do with, this bitch could be trying to come for you. Clap of another sword. And so many cards. And I feel like you're so unbothered. You have way better shit going on to. to Hit up a bitch about a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> like, somebody here is mad. They're pissed. And I hope this bitch stay like that. Somebody here is not feeling fulfilled. Okay. Somebody here feels like a failure. They're disappointed. Somebody here is salty. Because something didn't go how they wanted it to go. They know that this person's not happy with them. They too busy thinking about you. And somebody who wants to fight. <laughs> somebody who wants to pow, 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 pow. But I feel like you can let the universe handle these bitches. They're going to get their karma. It's going to come. So no need to 
entertain this foolery okay but i hope this video gave guys a lot of clarity if it did don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe and i'll see you beautiful people later bye